It is opening day here in North Little Rock, and we are joined by the manager of the Rough Riders, Steve Bouchelle, back for his fourth season as the skipper for this team. And Steve, opening day, you know, it's uh, always going to give players chills. And today, not just because uh, it's about 45 degrees outside, but uh, it's a special day, and uh, I know you're happy to be back. Yeah, I mean, opening day is always fun. Um, these kids, you know, to break camp and make a team, and a lot of newcomers are here this year. So opening day always brings out, you know, those feelings that finally we get going and it was a long spring training and I know everybody's ready to go. Yeah, it was a long spring training. The World Baseball Class kind of pushed everything back. You were there for pretty much the entire duration of it uh, along with the rest of the staff. Uh, does that make you anticipate this day a little bit more? Well, yes. I think when you're down there for that long, you just can't wait to get back home and get the season started. And, you know, unfortunately, the big league team is the reason why the spring training was for so, was there for so long. And um, I wish we would have had a little more time with our kids, but uh, with the number of games the big league team had and with the minor league kids being used so much, we didn't have a chance to really get together. So this is kind of nice to have the team together and get going. Every team changes in the minors, uh, some dramatically, some not so dramatically from year to year. Uh, this year's team's no exception. You bring back 14 guys that were uh, on the team at the end of last year or at some point last year, and you got about 10 guys that were new to the team completely and some new to the organization. Uh, you said you haven't really had a chance to see them all together, but uh, based on what you've seen here these last few days and just getting to know some of these guys, their personalities, uh, what do you think about the makeup of this year's team? I think the makeup's pretty good. You know, I think – Probably early on, we rely heavily on the on the pitching. We've got some veteran guys out there that have been <clears throat> that have been here before. A lot of familiar names on that pitching staff. I think where we're going to maybe experience a few of the growing pains are going to be defensively up the middle. You know, we got, we're going to have a young catcher in in Talese and Alberto and and uh, Oduble Herrera at second base. Um, you know, they're new to this. They're young, uh, so I think we can experience a little. Maturation, growing pains from those guys, but I think overall, you know, it's a it's a pretty solid team. But you never know. We'll we'll see what happens. And especially when you compare it to last year's team, just in terms of the newness to Double A, it seemed like last year you were starting seven or eight guys in your starting lineup that were getting their first taste of Double A. You've got a, a much more experienced group this year. You know, last year you had the prospect team. It seems like every organization uh, at some level there's one of those teams that is just stacked <clears throat> with prospects. Uh, that's not necessarily this case, and that's uh, no offense to any of the players out there, but it's just not quite as stacked as things were in 2012. Uh, as a manager, does that take any pressure off of you, or does it add any on to you when it comes to finding guys time to play, knowing that you know maybe there aren't quite as many guys that have to be in there every single day as there were last year? You know, I don't know if it adds pressure or takes away pressure. I go about the same way. I have my guys that are going to play, and guys that you know I try to get everybody in there. So as far as the pressure, as far as the pressure goes, getting guys in there, it, it, there nothing changes. I think you, you said it perfectly that last year's team, the, the young talent that we had, you know, you throw in the Profars and the McGinnis, uh, Larry Garcias, Mike Oltz. I mean, those are guys that, you know, are super talented and, and, and adapted quickly. You know, these kids that we have this year, <clears throat> and no disrespect to them, are new to this and, the, and they're young as well. And, and we're just not sure how they're going to adapt to the double A pitching and the speed of the game. So uh, it's kind of one of those wait and sees. And I think everyone's kind of curious to see how it all turns out. We're here with Rough Riders manager Steve Bouchelle here on opening day. Uh, Steve, is there anyone in particular that you're looking forward to seeing, whether it's a player that you've had in the past or a player that you've heard a lot about but maybe haven't had, that you're excited to see what they can do here in person on a regular basis? You know, I like, I'm kind of excited to see how Strazi and uh, Hoying do coming back after the years they had last year. I'm looking forward to watching them. And then certainly some of the pitchers. You know, see how Cody Bukel does, Neil Ramirez, you know, Brigham, some of the guys that have been here before. Um, <clears throat> where you would expect a little, you know, a little growth and maturation and see some improvement. So I'm excited to watch those guys pitch. But um, more than anything, I'm just kind of excited to get things going. You touched on it a little bit earlier, but how does this team have to play in order to win? What's the, the style or the, the manner that this team is going to be winning games? Not sure yet. I think, you know, there may be times we struggled to, to get runs. And if our pitching is, you know, as good as we think it could be, then maybe one or two runs will be valuable early. I don't know. You know, it's not really my nature to bunt early in the game, but uh, I'll get a feel here how how this team is going to go and you know how we're going to score runs. You look at the lineup. We don't really have a, a guy in that cleanup spot that you can say, "Oh man, you're going to get 25 bombs out of him." We don't. You know, the power 
production on this year's team is probably in question, but you never know. A year, you know, sometimes these kids grow up and, and do things that you're not sh uh, expecting. So, uh, not sure. I'll have a better answer for you on how this team's going to score runs in a couple weeks. And that's part of the fun of the season, figuring out who's going to be the surprise that you didn't necessarily think of coming in. Final question, Cody Buchel is your opening day starter. Uh, I know that that's a collaborative decision, but if you can kind of give some insight as to what led to Cody given that uh, first game. I think it was the year that he had last year. And, you know, having the experience of a half season at AA, he dominated uh, up until he came to AA. He threw well. He had a good spring training, was invited to big league camp. And, uh, when he got sent back down, he was throwing really well. So I think um, Cody's deserving of it, and, it, and he's getting the nod just because of the way he's pitched, especially the way he pitched in spring training. Not necessarily because of the acting chops. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Steve, uh, congratulations on you know all the success the last couple of years, getting in the playoffs three straight years as the manager, and here's to maybe a fourth straight this season. Good luck out there. All right, thanks, Alex. That's manager Steve Bouchelle. We're back after this on the Rough Riders Baseball Network.